Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, gracious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Elohim. Kiraba Sinta de Brehende Shatala Bahai. Zika Tala Brahande Ko Santa Lina Namashada. Maliko Se Brehende. Zine Nemo Si Brahande Ko Santa La Baha. Mande de 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 Rekotono no mo si kayabadadu sante. Makalato sheberhendes. Iru kataida bahandi sotonda. Makeda bababa sunta lebrehende shakalatai. Zekende ledebo shabrahandi ko sintalia. Makete ledebo shakalabababasha. Rekotono sebrehende siada bahai. Mande le de bo shanta le brehendesh i kata rako seteli bahai. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kola baba basuntaya. Le kana mas si katai. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless everyone. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Val Nicole, God bless you. You are welcome. Mrs. Liddell, God bless you. You are welcome. Bobby English, God bless you. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good. God is good. It is another moment in His presence. Hallelujah. Another opportunity to seek the face of God. Lebanta leko siyadadabashayda. Rekonto lodo sente lebrehendesh. Zika la baba shanti le de de bo si araba. Oh Jesus, zile le le bo sinta lima na ko shadarai. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, O God. La no shatade anamayada. La ne ko si darabo shana ne ana. La na na ana no shara. E kada do si ana de ana e kala li ana bo shada de mande de 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 bo shakala de precious Holy Spirit lina no si kada bo shana de ala da ba sentele nesha rakai na mama shadai na na ma sentele brehendes i kala do si tala ba na na ma shanti abahai. Oh Jesus, aleko sitaya. Jesus, zina na na mashadaya. Jesus, Jesus, there is something about your name. Aleko sitaya, lena no sitaya, ela no sina na mashene menenda la daya. Makoda baba ba sintele ya iamano si ana na na ana maha rekos tenda li ana mahande ya rekente la denda balatos si ana na na ya mahanda ya rekos kings and kingdoms. Shall all pass away and I must see that, but there is something about your name. Oh, Kadababa Shadaya, Jesus, Jesus, 
Jesus, there is something about your name. Alakada Baba Basetelede, Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain kings and kingdoms shall all pass away but there is something about there is something about there is something about your name there is something huh? I've heard about you. That is why I am here. Ekadabaya. <laughs> I've heard about you. Hey, my name is I've heard about you. I've heard about your saving grace. I've heard about you. That's why I am here. I've heard about your transformation power. Yes, Lord, I've heard about you. I've I've heard how you pick men from nobodies and make them somebodies. I've heard about you. I've heard about you. That is why I am here. I've heard of how you change the lives of men. Yes, Jesus, I've heard about you. How you heal the sick and mend the brokenhearted. I've heard about you. Hey, Makebala Deisha, I've heard about you. That is why I am here. I've heard about your love. I've heard about you. How you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, Jesus, I've heard about you. Hey, hey, Kabaya, I've heard about you. That is why I am here. I have heard how you pick people from the pits and place them on thrones to rule. I've heard about you. Hey, Makeba Baba Shate, I've heard about you. That you neither live nor forsake your own. Yes, Jesus, I've heard about you. That is why I am here. I've heard about you. I've heard about you. I've heard about your loving power and your tender kindness. I've heard about your goodness. I've heard about you. I've heard about you. That is why I am here. I've heard about you. <laughs> Monday, how you healed the barren wombs. Yes, Jesus, I've heard about you. That is why I am here. <laughs> I've heard about you. I've heard about you. That's why you I, I am here. I've heard about you. Hey, Makoda Babande de 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 bo shataira da da baha. And there is nothing you cannot do. You are Yahweh. Ha. 
Yes, I've heard about you. I've heard about your power. And Lord, I know that you are here. I know that you are here because I have heard that when we call upon you, you answer. That when two or three are gathered in your name, you are present. Lord Jesus, I have heard about your power. I have heard about your anointing. I have heard about your goodness that keeps running after us. I have heard about you. That is why we prevail in prayers. That is why we prevail in prayers. That is why we keep praying and believing because we know that you have said it and so shall it be. You say you never leave us. You said that you will not forsake us. Lord Jesus, I have heard about you exalting your word more than your name. I have heard about you exalting your word above your name. That whatsoever you say is come to pass. I have heard about you. And that is why. That is why. That is why I am here. I have heard about you. Lord Jesus, I have heard about you. That those that believe in you, you shall not disappoint. That they that trust in you, you shall not dash their trust to the moth. I've heard about you. I have heard about your power. That is why we are here seeking your grace. That is why we are here seeking your name. That is why we are here. Lord Jesus, I have heard about you. I have heard about you. I have heard that you are a God that suffers long. And that you are forbearing in nature. I have heard about you. That you do not look at me and see my sins. But you look at me and your mercy prevails. I have heard about you. I have heard about you. And I heard that you are the same God yesterday, today and forever. I have heard about you. And I heard that you do not change. You do not change. You do not change. You are here moving in the midst. Holy Spirit is here. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Oh, I you. Men in the broken hearted. I worship you. Hey, Makebalatea. I worship you. La Baba Sikana Mayadaya. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Ela Babo Sanaya Namaha. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My my God, that is who you are. You wipe away my tears. You mend the broken heart. You are the answer to it all. Jesus. You wipe away our tears. You men a broken heart. You are the answer to it all, to it all, Jesus. Yeah, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 
Ye Baba Baya, Waymaker, Miracle Walker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. That is who you are, oh, Shatter. Oh, Jesus, we get lost in your presence, worshiping you, because we've, we've heard about you. We get lost in your presence in worship because we have heard. We have heard and we know that you are the same God yesterday, today and forever. You are the same God yesterday, today and forever. You never change. You do not lie. You do not fail. Rekana Mashaya. God welcome everybody once again. You are welcome into the presence of the Lord. God is here, family. God is here. God is here. God is here. God is here. And he is coming with an assurance for someone. He says that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And he says that you will not end up as a non-entity. God says you will not end up being irrelevant. You will not end up as a non-entity. You will not end up just like every other person. You are ending with him being glorified. God says you are ending with your names being written in the sands of time. You are ending, you know, it just dawned on me that sometimes we say he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever, but we do not really understand. Do you know that God remains God and his power is true? God remains God and his power is true. So many times we are lost in our worries. So many times we are lost in the cares of life. We are lost trying to fend for ourselves. We are lost trying to take care of our lives. We are lost trying to, to, to make a meaning from our life. We are lost trying to secure our tomorrow. But the only way your tomorrow can be secured is when it is in the hands of God. The only way your tomorrow can be assured is when it is in the hands of God. We do not have to worry. Do you know that we are the most cherished and the most prized, the most prized thing God ever created? We are the most valuable thing. I don't want to call us things, but we are the most, most valuable creatures of God. And he loves us so much. But so many times we think less of ourselves. Imagine the lilies. Imagine the birds of the year. The Bible says they do not, they do not, they, they do not uh, sow. They do not plant. But God provides for them. God provides for them. What more of you and I that are God's most valuable creatures? Why do we get lost in trying to better our lives why do we, why are we so anxious about what tomorrow will bring why are we so anxious you are so scared you are asking yourself am i you're, you're, you're asking yourself will i end up alone am i going to find someone that will love me and treat me the way i deserve you are asking yourself am i going to end up owning a house of my own am i not am i going to end up being financially free Free. Am I going to end up? Will this sickness kill me? You are asking yourself, Am I going to die of this sickness? You are so scared. You are so scared. You are not sure about your bills. You are not sure about your children. You are not sure about your partner. You are not sure about your family members. You are worried about your siblings. You are worried. You are worried. You are worried. But the Lord sends me here to tell you that there is only one way you can secure your life all oh, the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness what does it mean to seek ye first the kingdom of god it is a time when you tell the lord i am your your handmaid. You speak like Mary did. Uh, let it be done unto me according to your word. You say, Lord, I am available for kingdom purposes. I am available for kingdom works. It is such a privilege to partner with God. 
it is such a privilege to partner with God. You know that God cannot come on the earth realm to do the things he wants to do. But when you make yourself available and you say, Lord, I am a vessel, use me, use me, use me. When the things that you are seeking is not for yourself, but it is for the glory of God. It is for the kingdom of God. It is just a matter of time before what people are seeking will start running after you. It is just a matter of time before what people are going after runs after you. Oh, Kayabalataya, when you bury your head seeking God, before you raise it up, you are at the world stage. When you bury your head and you say, God, I am after you. I love you. And I am here to seek your purpose. I am here to serve your purpose. Before you know it, the things that people used to run after will be coming after you. You know, we are all ambitious. We are created to dominate. We are created to, 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 to replenish. We are created to have ambitions, to have goals and dreams and purposes. And sometimes it seems really frustrating when your goals and your ambitions are not being met. When you try to hit certain marks and you are met with a resistance. When you try to do certain things and it is not working. The tendency is that you feel frustrated. The tendency is that you feel like God is not hearing you. The tendency is that you feel like God is not, is not around you. But all you have to do is to tell God, what would you have me do today? When you wake up in the morning and you say, Lord, what would you have me do today? I'm available for a partnership. I'm available for a partnership. I want to be used for your glory. Hey, when you, when, when you talk about being used for the glory of God, you start thinking about the big things. You start thinking maybe about preaching the gospel. You start thinking about the big things. But no, it is not the big things. It is not the big things. It is in the small things. It starts with you loving your neighbor as you love yourself. It starts with you looking out for your neighbor the way you would look out for yourself. It starts with you helping somebody, giving them a listening ear to just rant out their frustrations and have you counsel them. It starts with you partnering with the gospel in the minute, in the most smallest way you can. It starts with you telling somebody about Jesus, telling them about the love of God and telling them how much God loved the world and gave his only begotten son. Uh, when you go after such things, when you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, every other thing will be added. The things that people are going after will start coming after you. You know, Jesus speaking, he says, they that are looking for their life will lose it. But they that lost their lives will find it. They that lost their lives for my sake will find it. How do you lose your life for the sake of God? It means you refuse to live for self. Do you know that even your marriage, you can decide not to live for self even in your marriage? The reason why so many people get divorced is because they start thinking about their happiness. They start thinking about their lives. They start saying, you have to do me like this. You have to treat me like that. People walk out of relationships that were meant to be, that were meant to serve the agenda and the purpose of God because they are thinking about themselves. Because they are thinking about them. Do I, should I tell you something? It is not everything that is the will and purpose of God that is void of pain. It is not every because it is the will and the purpose of God does not mean you will not feel pain. It doesn't mean that you will not, there will not be days you wake up and you do not want to see that person. It is, does not mean there will not be times that you do not want to go to that job. It does not mean there will not be times, of course, there are times you're going to feel wearied. But now the sacrifice is staying in that place. Despite the pain you are feeling, despite the frustration you feel, staying in that marriage, despite how you feel. That is you. That is you seeking first the kingdom of God. You put it ahead of your emotions. You put it ahead of your own desires. You put it ahead of your own wants. And God says, and those things that people, oh, Gayababa Shaddai, those 
things that people are going after will start coming after you. People are going after happiness. But when you put the agenda of God in front, happiness is going to come after you. People are going after money. But when you put the agenda of God ahead, it is going to come after you. It will come after you. All you have to do is say, God, I want to serve your purpose for my life. I want to serve your purpose for my life. I want to serve your purpose for my life. There is nobody that has followed God genuinely. It doesn't matter what you lost. There is no one that has gone after the things of God and that ended up stranded. There is no one that sought the purpose of God. That sought to seek first the kingdom of God. That sought first the kingdom of God and ended up frustrated. There is no one. But believe me, child of God, it doesn't start like that. It doesn't start with you. Oh, the, the, the disciples came to Jesus. Peter, he said, all that has, we have abandoned all. We have abandoned all. What is our own hope? What is our reward? We have abandoned everything. What is our hope? What is our reward? And God says, don't worry. See, your reward is not just in heaven. You Not that you, you will make heaven. Your making heaven is guaranteed. It is sure. But right here on earth, right here on earth, everything you have forgone because of God, everything you have let go because of God, everything you have forgone because of God. He says that you're going to have a double here on earth. Hey, Abakaida. Rekonamama shikedebebe shatai. My father was teaching the other day and he said that the way to have the hand of God, that God has everything in his hands. He says durable riches. He has them in his hands. The only way to have what is in the hands of God is by going after the heart of God. When you go after the heart of God, what God desires. Some of us think that the purpose of God is chemistry, is, is, is logic, is arithmetic. Some of us think the purpose of God is something abstract. No. It's as little as witnessing to the loss, as telling somebody about the love of God. It's as little as sponsoring the kingdom. When you put kingdom agenda ahead, it's as minute as taking care of that child, despite the fact that they do, they do not listen. Your purpose, do you know that the purpose of Mary was just to give birth to Jesus? That, that was the purpose of Mary, to give birth to Jesus. And to look after the child and make sure the child grows. Your purpose is not something abstract. Believe me. It is when you seek the face of God. And you tell it's, it's one day at a time. It's one day at a time. One day at a time. You seek to serve his purpose. One day at a time. One day at a time. You seek to serve the purpose of God. And as you do it. God will show up for you. It is a privilege to partner with God in, in advancing his kingdom. It is a privilege to be, every time you find yourself in a position where you have to partner with God, it is a privilege. It is a privilege. Your life will become a living testimony of the grace and power of God. Your life will become a living testimony of the grace and power of God. Your life will become a living testimony of the grace and power of God. Do not get distracted by the people that are going ahead. Do not get distracted by the people that are, that are achieving what. Do not get distracted. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. God might have called you into the ministry of intercession. Do you know who are intercessors? Intercessors are people who pray for others. Intercessors are people who pray for others. So when you get into your, 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 your prayer room, it is not just only about yourself. You are praying for your community. You are praying for your family. You are praying for your pastors. You are praying for men and women of God. You are praying for them. 
that is serving the purpose of God. You might be called to a place of intercession. The purpose of God is not that difficult. You are not going after materialism. You are going after creating impact in the life of people. Do you know that your purpose might just be raising uh, uh, um, the, the, the children you find around you? The children you find around you. It might just be helping them, shaping them, shaping their lives with your good counsel. That might be you seeking the kingdom of God. When you see children, you, you see a glorious future in them and you try to shape them so they, so they manifest their potentials in God. That is seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Oh, kalaba shante de debo shadai. Zimana nama shadadabaha. When you surrender to the, um, to, to the ambitions of God, when you lay down your own ambitions and you surrender to the agenda of God, you say, Lord, what are you doing in this season? How can I be a part to it? What are you doing in this season? How can I be a part to it? When you get to that place, your things become the heartbeat of God. The things that you desire, it becomes the heartbeat of God. It becomes the heartbeat of God. The things people are going after. Let's read this scripture, this one scripture. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. I have been on this scripture all day. God has been pressing it in my spirit all day. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Let me get another Bible. Another one that really got me. Oh, Jesus. Somebody, your life is about to become a living testimony of the grace and power of God. You are becoming a living testimony. People who... Message transition says, people who do not know God and the way he works fuse over these things. People who do not know God and the way he works, they go running after things. They go running after the things that can, they can have. But you know both God and you know his works. Steep your life in God's reality, God initiative, God provision. Don't worry about missing out. You will find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Don't worry about missing out. I tell you something, you are not missing out on anything. When you steep your life in God, you are not missing out on anything. You are not missing out on anything. The things that people go after will start coming after you. There is a translation I saw that I want to read for us. He says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. He will give you everything you need. Everything. Everything. Not some things. Everything. Oh my goodness. There is a translation that I'm looking for. I'm not saying. But when I read it, I was screaming. Oh my goodness, I can't find that translation. The transition says, what people go after will come after you. That's the transition I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, I can't get it. I can't get it, but it's well, it's well, it's well. It's well. It's well. It says, what people are looking for will come after you. What people are looking for will come after you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Your life is becoming a living testimony of the power of God. Your life is becoming a proof of the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. As you seek 
ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God will use your life to manifest his power in the name of Jesus. The word, the world is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Do you know that the planet Earth is, do you know that we are found in the Milky Way that is one of the smallest galaxies of the world? God has everything that is in this world. It belongs to God and he wants to give it to you. He wants to give it to you, everything, even the hearts of men. The Bible says they are in the hands of the Lord and he turn it however he pleases. So whatever you need, be it a human being or be it things they are within the control of god god have access to them and he can push it your direction but as you seek ye first the kingdom of god as you go after god i pray for you in the name of jesus i pray for you your reward is coming speedily your reward is coming quickly your reward is coming quickly in the mighty name of jesus everyone that has so themselves in God. Your reward is coming speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that, that he that comes to God was, must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. I pray for you as you seek the Lord. Your reward is coming speedily in the name of Jesus. As you seek the Lord, your reward is coming speedily in the mighty name of Jesus as you seek God your reward will come speedily in the mighty name of Jesus somebody under the sound of my voice you are about to experience the power of God you are about to experience the power of God the power of God is not just in healing the sick the power of God is also in making men great. You are about to experience the power of God. You are about to experience the power of God. Someone under the sound of my voice, you are about to experience the power of God. The grace of God is picking you from a nobody and taking you to a somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rekababashatei. I pray for you. The power of God is coming upon you wherever you are. The power of God that makes men is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. The power of God that makes men is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. The power of God that makes men. Rekotoba. I pray for you under the sound of my voice you will encounter the power of God and your life will be transformed forever in the mighty name of Jesus somebody here under the sound of my voice God says he is about to make you so great he is about to make you so great that even your name will not be forgotten in the head in a hurry. God says he's about to make you so great that even your name will not be forgotten in a hurry. I don't know who is that person. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God says to someone here, he wants to use you as a testament that those that they, that those that those seek God will not end up in shame. God says he wants to use you as a testament, as a testament, as a testament, a success story of they that sought God. I pray that person is you in the mighty name of Jesus. God says he wants to use you as a 
testament, Rekanamaya, a testimony of people who sought God and whose lives never remained the same. God says He is using you. He is using you. He is using you. Rekababaya, Mande de Debosha. I see the number five. I see the number five. I see the number five. And five stands for grace. Somebody, the grace of God is coming upon you. Rekadabashaya, the grace of God is coming upon you. The grace of God is coming upon you for great and mighty works. The grace of God is coming upon you for great and mighty exploits. The grace of God is coming upon you. Makedabashatai, somebody you are living from five to a hundred. I am speaking as I am commanded. I am speaking like as, as I hear in the spirit. God says you are living from five to a hundred. I don't know what that means. Is grace grace is about to serve as your springboard? Grace is about to serve as your springboard. God is catapulting you. God is catapulting you. Grace is about to serve as your springboard. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Just go ahead and begin to thank the Lord in your own words, in your own way. Just appreciate God, the all-powerful God. Appreciate Him, the mighty one. Appreciate Him. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your faithfulness. Oh God, you have said it, and so shall it be. Father, we thank you because you said that those things that men run, they, men are running after as we seek you, they are coming for us. Somebody, as I am praying right now, I see a contract. It is coming to you. A huge contract. It is coming to you. It is coming to you. Come on, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The Holy Spirit is in this place. He is touching lives. The grace of God is available. Come on, go ahead and begin to thank him. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. Oh, we give you all the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, on Cash App, on mobile money. I pray that you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those that are giving donations in the name of Jesus. May God honor your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who are planting seed, oh, those who are giving offerings of thanksgiving, you are giving an offering of thanksgiving. God bless your offerings in the name of Jesus. God bless your offerings in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless your offerings in the name of Jesus. Those who are thanking God for the word tonight. Some people are planting seeds and thanking God for the word tonight. I connect you to your seed. Oh, God bless your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let this word that has been released, let it work wonders in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lakashana Mahai. Rekedebo Sebrehendesh. Makeda Baba Shantaya. Lekonono. Shadaya, those who are oh my goodness, many people are planting seeds into the word tonight. Oh, everyone that is planting seed, connecting to the word that has been released tonight. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says, Such are the words that leaves my mouth, they shall not come to me void without a 
accomplishing the purpose for which it was sent. The word that has been released tonight is being manifest mightily in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. These words will be manifested mightily in the name of Jesus. What people are looking for, they will come running after you in the mighty name of Jesus. What people are going after will be coming after you in the name of Jesus. Oh, and some people are planting the seed and they say, God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you too. And for those who are paying their tithes on PayPal, on Cash App, on mobile money, I bless your tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. I activate the covenant of a tither over your life. What is the covenant of a tither? God says that he is going to rebuke the devourer over your income and that he will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bands will not be able to contain. So shall it be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are planting seeds for financial overflow, I connect you to your seed. May the Lord honor your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is so strong in this life session. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is so strong in this life session. Please just make sure you connect yourself any way possible. Just make sure you tap into the anointing of God that is connected here any way you can. Hallelujah. God bless all our first timers. If this is the first time you are joining our life session, a special welcome to you thank you so much for joining please touch the like button if you're yet to do that and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time we are live you will not miss out god bless you in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god he is a great god oh my god Goodness. Father, thank you for your power. Thank you for this divine assurance. Thank you for the release of your grace. Thank you for the, re the release of your grace. Thank you for the release of your grace. Thank you for the release of your grace. Laka Shante Dabahai. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me, my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me, my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me, my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are still giving offerings, God bless your offerings in the name of Jesus. Those who are still giving donations, God bless your donations in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. Let there be a thousandfold increase. Let there be a thousandfold increase. Let there be a thousandfold increase. May your bands never run dry. May you never know lack. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you never know lack in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your wonderful works. We thank you for your awesome presence. Oh, we vow to give you all the glory. We vow to give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Mrs. Liddell. Thank you. Thank you. I thought to 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 to, <laughs> to change my look. <laughs> I thought to change my look. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, his light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. I love you, family. Please touch the like button as you go. Touch the like button as you go. Please, let's hit, hit, hit the like button. Touch the like button as we go. God bless you. Thank you, Valnika. Thank you. Please touch the like button as we go. If you have not done that already, let's round up the thumbs up. God bless you. God bless you. Why not share this? If this, this live session blessed you, 
why not just share it on your community or your timeline let someone enjoy what you have enjoyed here that is still serving the purpose of god okay please touch the like button amen amen everyone that is praying for me amen thank you so much thank you so much i love you family please let's round up the, 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 the let's round up the thumbs up let's round up the thumbs up please touch the like button if you've not done that already click on that like button god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you oh thank you jesus god bless you everybody through the darkest night his light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye. All the time. He put a 